What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 21, problem 4 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Uh, chapter 21 is all about electric charge. So this is the this is like the first chapter in the electricity and magnetism uh, part of the textbook. And problem 4 is uh, more conceptual, but there is a tiny bit of math involved. So we start out with this um, kind of diagram, I guess you could say, where we have a charged sphere here. We'll say it's Q. It's got charge Q. And then we have another identical sphere, also charge Q, over here. And then we have a third down here that is neutral. And then in the second situation, so in our, well, it's like a sequence, so the next uh, piece, we have that same charge here, and then we have this Q over here as well, and we, it says that we touch this neutral sphere to this sphere, so they're going to be touching, and since they're touching, this sphere is actually going to transfer half of, it's going to have the the total charge between these two spheres is going to split. So since we have Q, a charge of Q here and a charge of zero, it's going to split to Q over two and Q over two. Okay, and then it says in the next situation, we take this, this Q over two and then move it and touch it to this one. So we're going to have this same Q over two sphere here and then over here, uh, we're going to have these two touching each other, and we again need to split this total charge. Now this one's a little bit more confusing, so we have uh, Q plus Q over 2 is our total charge, and Q plus Q over 2 is equal to 1.5 Qs, or 3 over 2 Qs. So half of that is going to be 3 fourths Q. So we have 3Q over 4 and 3Q over 4. And then after that, we have, after that, this uh, charge is taken away. And we have to find the char the um, force of attraction between these two uh, spheres and compare it to the force between these two. So in our original... Um, in our original here, we have uh, two identical charges, so we'll say this is the original force. So force original is equal to K, which we know is 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0, but we can shorten it and just say K in this situation. So we have K Q squared over R squared. So K times the charge squared over the radius between the two charges squared. That's our original force. But then our new force, we'll say force N for new, is also going to be K Q1 Q2 over R squared. And then we can simplify that or plug values in and say K Q over 2 times 3 Q over 4 over r squared and when you simplify that you should get 3 over 8 uh, k q squared over r squared and if you look here k, k, q, k q squared over r squared is equal to force 1 so we can take this and set it equal to force original which means that um, the ratio between our original force and our new force is 3 eighths or 0.375 so that's it for this problem if you found it helpful please drop a like leave a comment if you have a question about something I did here or an idea for a future video and lastly Please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow 
and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.